Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked up this week. I think let's just go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Leonardo Momento Zero and this is the Blue Abyss. We have a Leonardo Momento Zero in the Grande in the Caribi the Leonardo Momento Zero Grande in the sand. We have a Leonardo Ferrore, and this is in the Blue Galaxy. We have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda King Cobra. We have a Pelican M1000 Rodan Starlight. We have a Visconti Brunelleschi. We have a Sailor King of Pen the, in the Sakura Nagar finish. We have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Calsecchi. And then last but not least, we have the Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. So I think let's just go through these pens in a little bit more detail. This is a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Blue Abyss. And uh, it has this name for a very good reason. It is a very, very dark blue, but it is quite a, a lovely blue. Um, it's not as nice, I would say, as the dark Hawaii, but uh, I do like the Hawaii and the dark Hawaii models, but this still is quite a lovely blue, quite a uh, sort of a distinct pattern going on there. It's a Memento Zero. Uh, this is a limited edition version because it is the Blue Abyss, so it is 84 of 100 there you can probably just see uh, this is on loan to me from John at St John's Pens now it does have a 14 carat gold medium nib there but that is a really lovely nib and uh, these are really nice pens uh, now it is a piston filling pen because it is a limited edition pen it's not a cartridge converter pen but for me I do like these sizes. But what I do like even more in terms of size are the Grande versions. So this is a Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande Caribe or Caribi, uh, really for Caribbean. And you can see why these luscious green and blues that would actually look like the luscious green blue oceans of the Caribbean or Caribbean depending on how you say it but this is a beautiful pen now this is the grande version it comes with a steel nib it is a fine nib there but it's uh, a really nice size in my hand uh, it is a uh, cartridge converter although you cannot remove the cartridge converter in the the grandes and then i have this one which is in my collection and this is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande in the sand and I picked this up at the London Pen Show in October 2019 uh, I'm really glad that I did absolutely beautiful pen absolutely beautiful and uh, this isn't a limited edition one um, it comes with a Leonardo medium nib these are Bock nibs with an ebonite feed and again, these are cartridge converters, although you cannot remove the actual converter because they are larger converters than the standard international cartridge converters. And then we have this one, and again, this is another Leonardo Officina Italiana. This is the Ferrore, and this is in the Blue Galaxy. And this really is a beautiful pen. I absolutely love this material it really is captivating now this is a numbered edition it's not a limited edition um, the for always are cartridge converter pens it comes with a broad steel nib there and just an ABS plastic feed these are cartridge converter pens but these are really nice writing pens and then we have the Atelier Lusso Andromeda and this is the King Cobra and this is the material that I handpicked myself I love that I've got this uh, Cobra on the cap it is a clipless pen so you do have to be careful with it rolling around on the desk um, 
It comes with a number six size Yovo nib, and this is a broad nib. It's a cartridge converter pen, but I just really absolutely love this material. So I have that pen inked up with me again today. And then we have this beautiful Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight. And this really is a stunning pen. And I uh, bought this for Christmas 2019. And I think you can see why. It's it's very much a Christmassy style pen. It's a beautiful pen. Uh, I really do love it. I'm glad that I was able to pick this up. Uh, these are long sold out, uh, but I managed to pick this up from a private collector. So I was very glad I was able to. This comes with a medium 18 cat gold nib, but it's just a really lovely pen. And I do love those Pelican M1000 nibs. Another pen that I have inked up is the Visconti Brunelleschi. Now, this is a pen that is made out of terracotta tile and uh, it's mixed or blended with resin very similar to the Visconti Homo Sapien Lava Edition but instead of lava it's mixed with terracotta powder and this is a really nice it, it's almost like a rubbery feel to the pen uh, I love the gold trim on this pen uh, and it comes with a 23 cap palladium nib and this is a medium nib uh, and that is inked up this week so I'll be writing with that shortly again and then we have the Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar that I was able to order and I eventually picked up in the London Pen Show in October 2019 and this is a beautiful pen I really love the pattern on it uh, it's a Mackier and Rarden and it's just beautiful so this ranks up there in some of my favourite pens. It's a Sailor King of Pen. It has a Sailor King of Pen nib. And it's a broad nib on this one. Which translates really to more of a Western medium. Uh, because it's an Asian nib. But uh, I just love it. I really do love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful sort of pen. So I do like how that. You can even match the pattern up between the cap and the body there. So it's a beautiful pen. So I have that inked up this week. And then we have the lovely classic pens LB5 in the Calseki or the Metal Ore. So again, this, although it's a classic pens LB5, it is actually made by Sailor there that you can see. And it says LB5 Calseki. So it was made by Sailor. It is a King of Pen, but it's slightly longer than the King of Pen. It also comes with a Sailor King of Pen nib, and this is a medium nib, which, again, because it's an Asian nib, it writes more like a fine nib. So I have that one inked up with me today. But you can see it's just slightly longer than the Sailor King of Pen uh, Sakura Nagar there. And then, last but not least, we have the Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. And this really is a beautiful pen. Uh, I never knew this pen existed. I was able to see it going up for sale from a private collector. It was used. Uh, it did have a problem with the ink window uh, that had fractured. I was able to send it off to Visconti and they were able to fix that for me, which was great. So... Now I have a good ink window. Uh, I have uh, it came with a 23 cap palladium fine nib on this this pen, and I do like it. I really do like it. It's not maybe my best writing fine nib, but it's it's up there with them. Um, I think my best one is my London Fog, uh, but this is probably my second or third best uh, in a fine nib because I don't normally write with uh, fine nib pens. So that's my currently inked pens for this week. So I think let's go and do a writing sample. So the first pen is a Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero, limited edition in the blue abyss. So we'll do a writing sample, but we'll do an ink swatch first. And this blue abyss really writes very wet and beautifully. So this is the Leonardo Momento Zero 
and it's the blue abyss and it is a medium 14 cat gold nib which to me actually writes a little bit more like a broad nib um, it, it's a beautiful writing nib and uh, I have this inked up with Blackstone Barrier Reef which is a lovely blue ink the next pen is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande in the Caribe. So again, we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is a fine nib. And although very, very wet, it does put down a fine line, as you can see there. So it's the Leonardo and it's the Momento Zero and this is the Grande and it's the Carib. Now I've seen it with an I or also with an E I'm going to put an E because I think it is supposed to be for Caribbean or Caribbean um, but I think the the Italians put it an eye on there. And this is a fine steel nib. And then the ink in here is Robert Oster Fire and Ice. The next pen that I have inked up is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande in the sand. And this is a pen that I really do love a lot. And I love the ink, even though I this I've not matched the ink to the pen colour, but I love how this writes with this ink. Uh, and it has a bit of a sheen to the ink as well. It's the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande Sand in a medium steel nib. And then the ink in here is Leonardo Purple, which is a, a lovely purple ink. The next pen that we have here is a Leonardo Officina Italiana Ferrore in the Blue Galaxy. And we'll do an ink swatch here. And this really writes beautifully well. This is another Leonardo Ferrore that I do like a lot. So this is the Leonardo Ferrore and this is the blue galaxy and it is a broad steel nib and then the ink in here is a uh, black stone barrier reef which is the same as that one there in the memento zero but I just love that ink. The next pen we have the Atelier Luso Andromeda in the King Cobra. So again we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a Yovo broad nib and it writes quite wet as well. So this is an Atelier Luso Andromeda and it's a king cobra in a broad steel nib and then the ink in here is diamine skull and roses which is a german exclusive if you are wanting 
to pick up that ink. It's also one of these inks that actually sheens quite a lot as well. The next pen is the Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight. So again, we'll do an ink swatch. Just realizing I actually have a lot of blue and purples on this page inked up this week. I guess I'm going through a bit of a purple phase. So this is the Pelican M1000 Varden Starlight in a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Pilot Oroshizuku in a hoe, which is probably the closest I've come to a gold ink without sparkles. The next pen is the Visconti Brunelleschi. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is a much narrower nib. It's a medium nib, but it's not a typical Visconti medium nib. So this is a Visconti and this is the Brunelleschi. And it is a medium, and it's a 23 cat palladium nib. And then the ink in here is, let me make sure that I spell this right, because I'm always wondering about this. It's Aurora and Klingner. So it's definitely an N after that G. And this is Alt Bordeaux, or old Bordeaux but that is a beautiful ink and then we have the Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar so again we'll do an ink swatch and this is the Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar and it's a broad and it's a 21 carat gold nib and then the ink in here is KWZ Grapefruit which I know doesn't match the pen but it's an ink that I put in this pen that I got at the same time at the London Pen Show, and I absolutely love it. The next pen is the Classic Pens LB5 in the Kawaseki, which is also a Sailor King of Pen. So, again, we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is a medium nib, which really writes a lot more like a Western fine nib. I don't normally do western fine nibs. I tend to like western mediums or broads. But I love this pen. And I do love how this nib writes, actually, <laughs> strangely enough. It's a classic pens LB5 in the Kawaseki. And it's a medium 21 carat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Pilot Oroshizuku Sakushi, which is Horse's Tail. And then last but not least, we have the Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. So again, we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this also is a fine nib. Again, I just don't normally gravitate towards fine nibs, but this came with it. I didn't have the choice because it was on the second-hand market. And I have put in other nibs, but to be honest, I've just put the F, the fine nib back in, and I do like it. So this is the Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. And it is a fine 
and it's a 23 carat palladium nib. And then the ink in here is Jehaban Le Dete, which is a very underrated brown ink, I think. Some pens it comes out very dark in, others it comes out very light in. So, let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. We have our Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Blue Abyss in a medium 14 carat gold nib inked up with Blackstone Barrier Reef. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande in the Carib in a fine steel nib inked up with Robert Oster Fire and Ice. We have a Leonardo Memento Zero Grande Sand in the medium steel nib inked up with Leonardo Purple. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Furore Blue Galaxy in a broad steel nib inked up with Blackstone Barrier Reef. We have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda King Cobra in a broad steel nib inked up with Diamine Skull and Roses. We have a Pelican M1000 Wild and Starlight in a medium 18 carat gold nib inked up with Pilot Awashizuku in a hoe. We have a Visconti Brunelleschi in a medium 23 carat palladium nib inked up with Aurora and Klinger Alt Bordeaux. We have a Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar in a broad 21 carat gold nib inked up with KWZ Grapefruit. We have a Classic Pens LB5 Kauseki in a medium 21 carat gold nib inked up with Pilot Washizuku Sakushi. And then last but not least, we have a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust in a fine 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Jehaban Li Dete. So there you have it. That's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.